The HM 1.7 water heater by Sioux Corporation is a new design building off the success of Sioux's M1, which has been a popular water heater in the concrete industry for over 40 years. The HM 1.7 is designed to provide increased flow and heat output and a layout that facilitates ease of maintenance on key components. The improved control system makes operation simple and the ASME coated heat exchanger provides high efficiency heat transfer. When installed in your concrete plant, the HM 1.7 will achieve the high tank temperatures quickly and efficiently so you can save money while maintaining production in extreme cold weather. In this video, we will demonstrate how simple it is to set up and begin operating the HM 1.7. First, ensure that you are following all safety recommendations outlined in the SU manual before setting up or operating your machine. After unpacking your HM 1.7, Place it in its operating location using the forklift pockets on any side of the skid. Preparing the machine for operation requires just four connections. The fuel supply, water supply, electrical supply, and exhaust stack. This model is diesel fired, but natural gas, propane, and combination gas diesel versions are also available. For diesel fired machines, plumb a fuel supply to the fuel filter inlet and a return line to the tank and prime the filter by unscrewing the plug at the top of the casing and pumping it a few times. On gas fired machines, the gauge at the natural gas connection point shows the gas pressure range that should be supplied to the machine. After connecting a gas supply, bleed any air from the line by loosening the compression fitting below the connection valve for a few seconds. To switch from natural gas to propane, Remove the pressure gauge and bushing from the inlet T and insert the gas orifice, which is shipped loose with the machine, into the T. Then replace the bushing and gauge. The water connections are both located on the exhaust end of the skid. The lower connection is for inlet water and the upper connection is the outlet. Use piping or approved hoses to connect the inlet and outlet to your water tank. Each HM 1.7 will have a label in the upper right corner of the control panel that designates its required electrical supply. After a qualified electrician has wired power to the machine, you may turn the disconnect switch to the on position. The control panel instruments will turn on. The HM 1.7 has a 12 inch diameter exhaust stack connection at the top of the heat exchanger. And any ductwork connecting to the machine should be at least this size. It is recommended that a qualified HVAC contractor install this connection. With all the required connections made, you are now ready to operate the HM 1.7. Open the water lines to the inlet and outlet of the machine. There are two priming valves located on the pump. Open the top valve and allow any trapped air to bleed from the pump. The pump can be turned on to accelerate this process. Next, select what operating mode you would like to run. In automatic mode, the flow is controlled by the controller to the right of the selector switch, while in manual mode, it is controlled by the knob to the left. For automatic mode, use the arrow keys on the controller to set the desired outlet temperature, shown in green, up to 190 degrees Fahrenheit. Follow the posted instructions to set the desired tank temperature by using the digital temperature controller in the top center of the control panel. During normal operation, this control will display the current tank temperature. Finally, turn the power switch to the pump position to start the pump motor. Turn the switch to heater to start the burner. After conducting a pre-purge sequence, the burner will light and the heater will maintain the desired tank temperature until it is shut down. To shut down the machine, first turn the power switch back to pump. Allow the pump to run for a few minutes to cool the heat exchanger then turn the switch to the off position. If the machine needs to be drained, first shut the inlet and outlet valves, then open the two descaling valves to drain the water left in the heat exchanger. In freezing temperatures, it is highly recommended that you antifreeze the heat exchanger after draining. Consult the Sioux product manual for additional recommendations regarding machine placement, setup connections, operation, shutdown, and freeze protection. Thanks for watching. For more information on the Sioux HM 1.7 water heater or any of our other products,
please visit www.sue.com or give us a call at 605-763-3333.